My name is Melanie Foltz, and this is my husband, Benjamin Foltz, and this is how we were done wrong in the state of West Virginia, in Hardy County. And it all started because of a domestic violence situation back in 2006, 2005, 2006, I'm sorry. In April 15, 2006, CPS came into our home at one o'clock in the morning and took our children away from me. He wasn't in the home, and it, he had the domestic violence happened on April 14th. April 15th, they came in at 1 a.m., took Jeremiah and Kyle, our two oldest boys, and ripped them out of the home and put them right in foster care. How old are they? They're now five and four. At the time, they were two and three. Then, instead of placing them with family immediately, like the the rules and regulations state to find family and relatives to place them with, they placed them immediately in foster care. During that time, CPS told the judge that, and the judge in our case was Judge Donald Cookman, and told the judge that no family member was willing to take them. Didn't even look for somebody. Then in May 2006, they came into the hospital down in Harrisonburg, Virginia, and took my oldest daughter, who is now two, Abigail Faith Elizabeth Foltz, out of the hospital. My husband's mother was there at the hospital with me when they came in, willing to take her then. They refused to give them to her. She is now still in foster care to this day. His mother is still fighting as well. Then for me and from for two years, me and my husband fought has been fighting for the, our kids for two years. <laughs> they recently terminated our rights. <laughs> they lied and told my husband that if he signed over his rights, then he would get to see the kids. He hasn't yet got to see them. <laughs> I'm still trying to fight. However, recently they have terminated my rights because they allowed the time lapse to lapse for my appeal without giving me a court appointed lawyer or anything to fight for my kids to appeal the case in 2007 of august we had our youngest daughter they come in they took her out too because they said that I never went to all my prenatal appointments. However, I have proof I did. I showed the judge the proof. He didn't even look at the proof. That's what they used to take her. My husband's parents had to hire an attorney, pay $40,000 just to get three of the kids they're still fighting for the last one. It's an outrage because of what they used to take our kids away wasn't based on what they originally took them away for. What they used to terminate our rights was because they asked for our bank statements and our bills. And we didn't turn them all in. How is that going to show that we're, we're good parents? That's not going to show that we're good parents. Because we can't show our bank statements. Or we don't have enough money in the bank. That doesn't tell you you're a good parent. It just says that you're, you're not wealthy. It doesn't show that it doesn't say that you can't love your kids and take care of them. You just can't give them everything that somebody that has a lot of money can give them. Doesn't mean we can't give them the love that they deserve.
our court appointed lawyers we had during this case wouldn't fight for us. Whatever the state said, they agreed with, whether or not we agreed with it or not. We come here today asking for you all to help reunite this broken family and put our families back together. My mom hasn't got to see her grandkids in two years. My husband hasn't got to see his mom since August of 2007 when she got the kids. He doesn't even know how his father's doing. He doesn't know how his mom's doing. He doesn't know anything about his family. Back in February, he had an aunt that passed away. He couldn't even go to her funeral <laughs> because he couldn't go to see his, his family. He couldn't see his mom and dad. Couldn't be around them. <laughs> and it's a messed up situation back there because it's not just happening to us. It's a lot of people in Hardy County. <laughs> This judge is taking away families from. And we're asking that you can do anything. Is there one judge in particular? Yes. What's his name? Donald again? Cookman. And he, he, has a, he has known for taking away kids and never returning them back to families. His cases have only been overturned maybe twice since he's been on the board of terminating family rights. It's not right. I, just, I got an older son that lives with my mom. And he hasn't got to see his brothers and sisters for two years. He doesn't understand. He's nine years old. He doesn't understand. Right. I'm just asking for my kids to be returned home. If anybody can do anything. <laughs>